who went to school. Um, so there became more jobs available. Um, in 1964, Belgium um, came to an agreement with Morocco and um, Turkey. Moroccan and Turkish people um, would come to Belgium to work, but they had the intention to save money and then go back to their own country. Um, but a lot of foreign jurors stayed here in Belgium. So in 1974, there was, uh, or there came an immigration stop. People from other countries um, couldn't come for work uh, anymore to Belgium. Um, but they still could come to Belgium um, to reunite with their family. So in uh, 1980, Belgium went through an economic crisis uh, with the result of a high unemployment. And in the 90s, um, the immigration increased. More immigrants came to Belgium to reunite with their family, so the group became more visible in our society. Uh, that led to the, uh, that leads to the success of a political <coughs> group, Flamme um, Blanc, Flemish Interest. And it was also, um, there was also talk about in the presentation in the morning, so I'm not going to go further into it. Um, because of the large number of um, immigrants in Belgium, there came an integration policy, and later in the 21st century, uh, there came a naturalization policy. The last years, our country is changing. Um, there are more people becoming older, more people become older, and less children, children are born. So our country is aging, and the big question that a lot of people <coughs> have now is do we have to open our borders again for foreign workers? So that was a short resume of the Belgian history. Um, now I'm going to show um, some numbers of figures of numbers of foreign nationalities in Belgium.